I'm Justin, and this is Pisces Printing. Today our project is going to be an upgraded quad fan hot end cooler for my Ender 5. I purchased a copper head hot end from Slice Engineering, and I couldn't find any cooling fan designs that I really liked, so I decided to make my own. So I'll kind of take you through the process of me making that, designing that, um, printing it, putting it together, and putting it on the printer. So we'll kind of watch that unfold here in the next couple minutes. So. Alright, first up we're just taking an overview of it inside Fusion 360. We're just going to kind of look around, see what the model looks like. I'm just trying to show you kind of where I started at with this and the first iteration and what it looked like. This isn't the final iteration, as we'll soon see, but this is where this project all began. So. The first iteration here was made on a resin printer. It was made on a AnyCubic Mono, the 4K edition. So you can just kind of see me here cleaning it up, washing it off in isopropyl alcohol. I'm getting ready to stick it into the cure station here in a couple seconds, so we'll see that. This is just my homemade little cure station, just a 405 nanometer LED strips inside of just some packing material that I got off of an AnyCubic. It works okay for what it is. Now I'm getting ready to pull the supports off of iteration number one. These came off really well. The stock profile that comes in the slicer is actually really well built to just remove these without any issues at all. So here's the finished product. Okay, so now we're over at the printer. Um, this is the um, piece I just got off the resin printer. Um, I decided to do resin because the wall thicknesses are, they're pretty small and I just didn't want to uh, screw around on an FDM trying to get it perfect. So I figured this would work out just better doing it on a resin printer. This is my quad fan that I'm trying and it's four 2510 fans which each fan says it delivers about two cubic feet a minute of air so eight cubic feet a minute total of air which is slightly better than a um, single 5010 blower, although it will be at lower pressure. So here's where the issues really began on this. You can see that this is me screwing around with this for a very long time. This is sped up significantly, and it just ended up the holes didn't line up. It warped on the build plate, so I'm moving to an FDM print. As you can see here, I'm putting uh, heat set inserts inside this. Since the threads weren't as high definition on these FDM prints, I just decided to go with a heat set insert instead. So. Moving on to iteration number two here. This one's just as short-lived as the first iteration. I'll fight this top bolt in. And then I didn't like the fact that you have to pull the hot in to get the cooling shroud back off. So that was a bit of a nuisance. I'm using the Copperhead Slice Engineering hot end. I'll kind of talk about it here in just a quick second, and then we'll move on to iteration number three. There we go. Okay, so I got the Slice Engineering Copperhead hot end on this. Um, I used their 300 degree uh, thermistor as well as their 50 watt heater on this install. So, so this is the entire build in Fusion 360 just from a multi-point perspective. So here I'm kind of building the cooling shroud around the hot end and I originally was going to do a dual 4010 setup but I ended up having issues with side clearances it kept running into the gantry inside the software here and I didn't like that I figured it wouldn't work so no point in continuing so I moved to a quad fan setup here on 2510 fans which is kind of what we're seeing here and now we can kind of see it's getting put together, and I have the single blue piece and the single green piece, and that was iteration one and two. So I didn't like that the green piece was a singular piece. I wanted it to be two. So we'll see here in a second that that green piece will actually become a yellow piece and a green piece, with the yellow piece being a removable fan duct. 
And that's iteration number three and the final iteration. So this is the finished mounting bracket that holds all of the cooling shrouds. So this is kind of what I ended up going with and I really liked it. So this is how they actually slide together. They just kind of go on and then a three by 25 millimeter bolt holds them together. Here I'm just redoing the heat set inserts into iteration number three. Again, it, the FDM just won't hold threads to a tolerance that I'm comfortable actually tightening a bolt down in. So what you're seeing here is actually just two three millimeter washers that I use as spacers because the copper head piece is actually just a bit deeper. It extends out and touches that bottom little tab right there and I didn't want any heat actually transferring into that so it separates it out by maybe half a millimeter putting those two washers behind it. You'll see me dropping two more in with a pair of tweezers here. That's the only thing I really don't like about this copper head hot end is it was really close to the gantry there. I tried giving a close up here so you could see how close it was, but it was just a really awkward angle to get into, so.
Alright, well, that about wraps up this project. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. It was a really fun project. I'm looking forward to doing more projects like this in the future. If it's something that you did enjoy and you want to see more of, please like, subscribe. It really lets me know what you like, what you don't like. That way I can make the content that you guys are really enjoying. So, thanks for watching. Have a good one.